from the caterpillar to the butterfly. Have y'all ever seen a caterpillar before? In the springtime? How they crawl? I know you've seen it in school how they, a caterpillar would crawl and eat the leaves for a little while, and then after a while, it spins a cocoon. And but then after a while, by and by, a beautiful butterfly emerged. So let's just talk about that. Amen. I need my Bible. Go ahead and pull out a Bible and turn to Matthew chapter 17 and read 1 through 9 for me. It's a very important story. As a matter of fact, I'll have one of our young people to pull it out so you can get a line. Who's the oldest?
He walked the earth, he taught, and because of his actions, with all the compassion he had, the people crucified him. But he, what? He was buried, and then he rose again. Did he not? And he was transfigured on that mountain of transfiguration, that's what they call it. They saw all the glory of God. They fell on their knees. And they saw Jesus ascend into heaven. That's the butterfly, all power in his hand. He was no longer, as we call it, and we walk on earth, mortal. He is now immortal, like immortality. He is God. He is divinity. Meaning, he's a quickening spirit. He's no longer like this. But yet, he can still see him. And see his power and glory. He started off day born, and now he ascended to heaven. And he's coming back for a church. He's coming back for us. Once again. So I just want to let you know that the love of Christ is like a butterfly. Start off one way and end to another. Amen? What have, what have God done in your life? He blessed you with a home. What has happened? Food on the table. Amen. A child was there. What did God bless you? Thank you. 
Georgia was driven back. The mountains skipped like crowns, and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest? Thou joy, that thou was driven back? Ye mountains, that ye skipped the like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble the earth, thou earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into, the, into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of water. That concludes the reading of Scripture. And that is the Word of God. As I stand before you, I feel great joy in my heart. For God has a word today. And as I was listening to the choir sing, I know God has not only my back, but yours. Why? Because he lives. I can fix tomorrow. Let us turn to the help where, to the God where our help comes from. Eternal God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to stand here today. I thank you, Lord, for giving me strength in my legs. Strengthen my back. Strengthen my hand. I thank you, Lord, for giving me air in my lungs so I may proclaim the good news. To give a harmonic of the life, of the bread of life. Lord God, I thank you for, for this church that has a zeal, compassion, and a love for Jesus Christ. Touch every need, Lord. And oh God, I ask you, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For thou art my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This sermon is based upon St. Matthew. And I'm just going to read just a couple of, of scriptures today. Just bear with me as we go to the Word of God to hear what he has to say. To his church. This is coming from St. Matthew's chapter 8, verse 3. For you and, and Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy. Grievously torment. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. When Jesus heard it, he followed and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found such great faith. No, not in Israel. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, as thou hast believed. So be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in that self same hour. Verse 14. And when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife, mother, laid and sick of a fever. And he touched her hand, and the fever left. And she arose and ministered unto them. And when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he has cast out the spirit of his word, and healed all that were sick. Thanks to God. Yesterday I had the opportunity to attend a leadership meeting, enjoying a fellowship with also with Elder Smith, who are our pianist, who plays such a beautiful 
music. At Shiloh's Seventh-day Evangelist Church on Washington Street. And there, was I one of our own being recognized, I call him Honorable. Our own Honorable Elder Martin. He received his certificate for completing a home Bible study course. And I just thank God for his zeal and his love for God's Word. Amen. And I know quite sure many of you have joined in fellowship in learning God's Word with, along with Elder Mark. You know, we had a great time yesterday. I felt welcome, and I know Elder Mark, he felt right at home. Some of them know me like this. Some of them know me as I've grown up. And it just blessed my heart. I felt, I, 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 I see day by day why God brought me back. I know what you're about to say. Back to the University of Virginia. I like that. 